Hello everyone, it's Miko here. Today I wanted to show you guys um, how to make a Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball pendant. So for this tutorial you're going to need resin. I'm using the EasyCast clear resin. You're going to need something to color the resin with that's kind of opaque that you can see through. I'm using this tattoo ink in the color golden yellow. And you're also going to need some red stars. I picked up these foil stickers in a pack and I'm going to use the red ones. If you're making smaller ones and these are too big, you can also use stars that are really small. Um, these are for nail art. So when you first begin, this mold is just a half circle mold. You can use a full circle mold or use two halves and put them together. Um, it doesn't come out perfectly round though, so that's why I don't do that. So I'm just going to make this half one. We're going to fill this with resin about a fourth of the way full. Let it uh, dry and then we're going to put the stickers on top of that and then we can fill up, up the rest of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and pour and mix my resin and then I'll pour it in and show it to you guys. Okay, so once the color is fully mixed into your resin, made this kind of yellow color, you're going to take a straw and blow out the bubbles. And then just slowly pour this into your mold. The slower the better, and just make sure that you don't get all those bubbles in there. You want to try to make it a steady stream as possible. Also you can take your straw and blow out any bubbles that might have been in there. This one looks pretty clear but I'm just going to do it anyway. So that's how much it's filled up. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then we will put the stickers on and pour the last layer on this okay so this has dried almost completely i've waited about 12 hours so it looks just like that so now i am mixing up the second batch of resin um, i put about two tablespoons one tablespoon of the resin one tablespoon of the hardener and i'm just mixing it I'm also going to add the color to this. I'm going to add about three drops to this one and just continue mixing this until it is all dissolved. Okay, once our resin is fully mixed, before we pour, we're going to put these stickers on here. Now we're going to want to put them upside down so the red part is facing down the tip of the Dragon Ball. So I just peel them off and just place them face down just like so however we want them. For this tutorial I'm just going to do a one star Dragon Ball. So I just kind of make sure it's centered where I want it. Once you get it centered where you want it we're going to pour a thin layer of resin over that. I'm just blowing out the bubbles. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pouring a thin layer over. I'm going to again blow out the bubbles. 
Now our sticker may float up since it's not sealed to the bottom. So to prevent that, I'm just going to push it down with my popsicle stick. And this also gets any air bubbles that may be trapped from underneath star. So it should look like this. And there's a few bubbles in there that I'm just going to try to blow out. So I'm going to let this sit for just a few minutes. If the star starts to rise up again, you can always push it back down. And when you're comfortable that this star is not going to rise up anymore and that it's pretty secure, you can go ahead and pour the rest in, which I will go ahead and do. Just a steady, small stream. This helps prevent bubbles. And you can fill this up all the way. I don't usually fill mine up all the way to the top just because it takes a lot of resin. So again, I'm just going to blow out any bubbles. Alright, so once that is done, you would just let this cure for 24 hours or however long it takes for your resin to cure. Then you would pop it out and you'll have a Dragon Ball. So now the Dragon Ball is completely done drying. I just popped it out of the silicone mold, which it came out very easy. And here's the end product. Thanks for watching. Bye.